Yo, DP. I'm Kobe Coffer from Kobe's Corner, and today we have an unbelievable show for you. You have to stay tuned right now. It's music related. I'm Kobe Coffer, and you're watching Kobe's Corner. Yo, DP. I'm Kobe Coffer. And I'm standing here with two members of the band 50 Below, a local Dos Pueblos band. So tell me a little bit about your band exactly. Where do you perform? How did you get started? What, what is you? Well, we started about two years ago when we met over at Jensen's uh, guitar store between lessons, or back in junior high. And uh, our styles changed a lot. We started off playing uh, like punk rock. Now we're playing a mixture of like reggae, funk, uh, alternative, and some rap even. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What a surprise! Who are you guys? Tell me about yourselves. <laughs> We're Highway 35. And we've played Main Stage Fiesta, and we've actually recently won uh, Santa Barbara's Battle of the Bands. Wow, so Battle of the You've won the band? Yeah. You actually won it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so We're actually record We're going to start recording at Playback Studios because uh, when we won Battle of the Bands, we also won a lot of recording time for that. So we're working on something right now, so it should be pretty fun. How long have you been playing? Uh, together for about two years now. For a lot of us, or for most of us, uh, music is actually our main commitment, I guess. So it's nice to be able to move everything around music for the band. Yeah. How long have you guys been playing music in general? I started playing the drums when I was in sixth grade. Um, before that, I was playing uh, the piano. Um, I didn't like it after a while, actually. So um, I stopped, and then my parents um, forced me to continue playing music, and I just decided that the drums seemed like the coolest instrument out there to play. So um, I've been playing drums steadily for six years and I will definitely be continuing as I go to college. On October 19th, we're playing at this festival called Rockstock, which along with several other bands from DP, like Soul and Thunder, The Caverns, and Technical Difficulties, we'll be playing with Revolution and Iration, and that'll be really cool. That's cool, where is that? That'll be at the Dos Pueblos Ranch, actually. Dos Pueblos Ranch, October 19th. Save the date. On October 9th, we'll be playing out here in the Greek at lunch, oh, yeah. Highway yeah, 35, so definitely come to that. This has been an official corner interview with 50 Below and Highway 35, two student bands here at DP. I'll see you next time. Now back to me. Wow, very interesting. Also, a fun fact you might not all know is that the Engineering Academy actually does many cool art programs within its curriculum. I got to take a closer look. In this project, we used art. And I think all of us have been using art since we were kids. I know I used to draw really weird witches and monsters and in this project we got to use our creativity side. I really enjoy art. I've been drawing since elementary school and it, it's probably one of my favorite subjects in school. I like art because it lets me express myself because I feel like I can let out my emotions through art. Hey guys, this is Mrs. Hemsley. I'm the advisor for the art club. We'd love to have new members come out and join. We have a lot of stuff planned for this year including a new mural the van shoe contest if you're interested in helping us design those shoes and all kinds of other stuff that just makes our campus look more artistic and beautiful. Come on join us. We are meeting every Tuesday at lunch in room A4. We have this contest that comes around every year called the National PTSA Reflections Contest. Each year it comes with a theme and students will create artwork based on that theme. William, tell me about your contest in the Reflections program. Basically, I just entered in the literature division and was a like a finalist at the local like Santa Barbara area level. I participated in the visual arts category in which we drew a picture, painted it, whatever, to fit the theme. And I drew a picture called Snapshot to represent the theme of magic in the moment because snapshot like literally captured the magic of the moments. So in years past Dos Pueblos has been really successful at that contest. We've gone from the local level to the district level to the county level to the state level and then it goes all the way to the national level and yes DP has won the national title for that contest numerous times. This year we'd like to see people entering for the reflections contest in all the categories. There's literature, photography, dance, choreography, music, and visual arts. Applications are at the switchboard in the office and turn-ins will be on October 17th and 
18th in that same spot. So get out there, DP. Let's go win, Chargers. Hashtag, Hashtag shout out to Kobe's Corner. Corner.